Good morning, students. Today we are going to deal with the second chapter of the same content. Okay, and its title is what's its title? Feathered friend. What is the meaning of feathered? Who has feathers? Yeah, right. Birds have feathers. Okay. So we are going to talk about this particular bird, which is that canary. Have you seen a canary bird? A very small yellow colored bird and it sings very sweetly okay so we are going to try to understand what this canary bird did in this lesson and you know what is a space station yeah where is a space station here in India yeah in Trivandrum ISRO isn't it so we have our Indian space station uh, right in Trivandrum itself and here they are talking about the International Space Station and the people are inside that, astronauts are there, scientists are there and lot of people are working inside that space station. Now you know what is it? There is no gravity inside the space station and naturally we don't have the pull, gravitational pull. If we have the gravitational pull only, we can stand on foot on the earth for example. So when we are outside that space, then we don't have, we are light weighted and we keep flying around. Now imagine if a bird is going inside that and it is get, getting stuck inside that space station, how it will manage to live, okay? Let us find out from this chapter how this canary is going inside and who bought it? Did you know who bought that? Yes, Sven, S-V-E-N, the character named Sven, it was her, its pet and he wanted to try something. What did he want to try? He wanted to experiment. What did he want to experiment? That can birds live inside the space station? Just like human beings are flying around, can this bird which is light weighted, you know children the weight of the bird is really very light, isn't it? We are heavy weighted, but on contrast to it, the birds are light weighted. So he thought that she will manage to live herself inside, she will manage and he wanted to test it. So it was just a test dose, just like we test uh, uh, new medicines on animals, isn't it? Rats are there, mouse are there, cat, uh, not cat, monkeys are there, isn't it? So he wanted to test this canary, taking it into the space station and test it could live or not. Did it live actually? Let us find out, okay? Are you interested in this story? Yeah, let us move on. Okay, so these Sivan came into the space center and he was doing his work along with the narrator and who else was there? Olsen, then the narrator and lot of people were there which is not mentioned, their names are not mentioned, they are simply told as astronauts or scientists, the friends or the co-workers, alright? You know who are the co-workers? Yeah, they work with along with the narrator and the friends over there. So here they were literally seeing that the canary is making lot of musical sound and all that and slowly, gradually, gradually they became friends and the canary was a pet of each and everybody, not only Sivan but all the others also and it was going to each and everyone it was trying to fly upside down because it could not because of the gravity i told you know before gravity was uh, is not inside the cabin so she is trying herself she couldn't uh, fly forward she was flying flip backward and she is rounding backward and she is trying to straighten herself and she is trying to eat everything, whatever is given to her and she was living her life for a few days and all of a sudden what happened is one day when the narrator woke up from the bunker, you know what is a bunker? 
yeah yeah have you seen discovery channel they go the now who all the authors and all they go there they discover something they discover animals and all so they have to sleep in the night there watching all these animals fishes and all that so they use the bunker bunker is a zip like thing it's a bed okay makeshift bed it is having a zip if you zip on it and fill it with gas you have a bed and then you can remove the zip and fold it and keep it aside so that is called a bunker so this narrator and his friends were sleeping inside the bunker and as they woke up in the morning they found the canary not there anywhere and seven went finding for it in the whole space area and you know children there are small 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 places where they can hide there are lot of places there which can uh, be hidden from the human eye so he went seven went and checked each and every corner of the space international space research center and he couldn't find canary all right and uh, in meantime he was looking inside the place where the naked eye could not see and he saw that his canary his pet was almost collapsing what is the meaning of collapsing yeah it was out of breath and it is hard for her to breathe and getting up all right so he brought it in his wrist in his hand folded like this and Uh, when the narrator asked where is canary where is cannibal cannibal who's cannibal yes canary's name was cannibal okay and he is even just very sad faced he just opened his paw and there lied the canary in his hand and suddenly the narrator was thinking 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 he was uh, getting his memory back 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 what he was doing he, they have a uh, training sessions and all right so they know what to do when uh, first aid to give first aid you know what is the meaning of first aid yeah before the doctors arrive we have to give some aid to the patient so that he doesn't die he doesn't collapse so this narrator also is telling wait 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 i have an idea what is an idea yeah some thought he said no come let's give oxygen to this canary maybe it will live it is going short of oxygen come 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 so they have an oxygen mask have you seen oxygen mask yes in the hospitals you can see that isn't it and they have cylinders oxygen cylinder have you seen the cylinders yes so it is a tube like thing and the connection is kept with the mask over it so that canary was so small that it fitted the mask inside just like a cradle it was inside and suddenly it got the breathing back suddenly he jumped up to life and started showing lot of funny things and just then it collapsed out of what over what over oxygen yes it was very much well it got a lot of strength okay and it collapsed because he it was uh, the oxygen had drained for a lot of time it was already night time and all was over isn't it so for quite a lot of uh, duration it was collapsed and suddenly when you give the oxygen it will not resist okay so it collapsed and it died and literally on the other hand these people the uh, people who were inside the spacecraft was uh, sorry the space uh, center was thinking what is happening here what type of oxygen what we are getting oxygen what is happening inside this some leakage is here surely some leakage is here that is the main reason canary is unable to breathe so they went in search of all the things where the machines is kept the um, airs are uh, filling out and all and instead of oxygen some poisonous gas was coming out leaking and suddenly the narrator and his friends realized that they could have died they could have experienced the same thing but fortunately they had brought a pet which 
alerted them that a leakage was there and they could rectify that leakage. So uh, now you know children what happens? Every uh, space station is having a canary. Why is it so? Because they think that they can sense the leakage very fast. Okay? And they can save human lives. Did you understand the story? But our poor canary had to sacrifice her life. Did you like the story? Yeah, please read it and thank you for listening.